we are here hosting the FQXI Information as Fuel conference. What is fantastic about this is that it's bringing together different expertises. My name is Harald Javier. I, I started my PhD sort of in the height of COVID as everything was picking up, so things have been a bit slow. I'm from the experiment side, so uh, this collaboration with both experiments in theory, it's, it's a great first conference for me, I think. We wanted this to be a forward-looking conference, not a moment to say what we know, but a moment to uh, discuss what we don't know and what we want to do together. What kind of a thing is information? I'd love to know what insights you get from this question. What is fantastic about this Information as Fuel program is that it's bringing together different types of experiments, different types of theory. This conference was initially intended to be the kickoff of this whole program. We had it planned for 2020. It was basically, you know, killed by the pandemic. This is now the third try. Is information something that can do something? This may be the last time to get this group of brilliant people together, all of whom have something to contribute to that question, thinking about that question. We shall see. The sun's coming out and it's gonna be beautiful and we're gonna take a walk in the snow this afternoon and uh, put our discussions outdoors. It's very exciting, the quality of the early career scientists here. They're amazingly talented people, and with all the intellectual energy and creativity. What I hope will happen from this conference is that as people come together, they'll begin to see the bigger picture, the larger whole into which their own contribution fits. As they listen to one another, they'll be saying, ah, now I see the significance of something that I've learned about in the context of this bigger picture. And what I'm hoping over the next few days is that there'll be many such aha moments. I'm from Brazil. I uh, did my undergrad in computational physics uh, at the University of Sao Paulo. There was uh, when I started first studying uh, quantum thermodynamics and that's how I got uh, interested in the topic. Fast forward a few years, now I'm here in the mountains, you know, talking to, to amazing people and, you know, listening to, to very inspiring talks. But before we get into that, I want to just say hello and introduce myself because we're here till Wednesday and if you want to talk to me, you should know maybe why it's interesting to talk to me, if at all. <laughs> uh, my name is Drake Schwerup, I'm a PhD student. So, yes, I am from Malta, which is this, uh, this is the capital city of Malta, Valletta. And, uh, which is this a conference like this, a workshop like this, really uh, provided me with the opportunity to learn so much about the work going on. There are people here, for example, day to day, I would never sit down with these people because we're all bogged down in our own problems, answering emails and doing calculations. And for some reason, you never find the, let's say, clarity of mind and, and the, the time to sit down and really find out about each other's work. This novel uh, subtopic of physics about, you know, quantum thermodynamics is, is quite exciting. It's particularly exciting because, um, you know, there are, there are so many questions, open questions. Well, thermodynamics, honestly, one of the oldest, uh, you know, branches of physics. You know, people started developing from a more uh, experimental and pragmatic uh, point of view. And now we're, you know, to the point where we can start thinking how the, you know, the, the, the new quantum technology and quantum experiments, quantum theory can be overlapped with uh, thermodynamics. And to be able to really be there, designing these experiments, the first experiments, to try and answer some of these questions, is, it's, um, it's amazing. It's kind of, you know, inspiring to, to be so close to nature. 
the place is you know gorgeous you know the sun reflecting on the on the snow in the mountains it makes you feel you know more inspired to talk about physics to discuss physics in, in, in such an environment I mean it's a, such a privilege For me, it's only my second time ever seeing mountains this big. I think really nature does offer you this clarity of mind, this, this space of, of, of being able to think about anything. You're just there walking, uh, looking at the trees and the snow, there free with a friend and uh, thinking about quantum thermodynamics. So, I mean, what could be better, you know? I really like the, the level of the talks so far. I'm excited for my presentation. This is my you know, second conference in person after the pandemic. I, I know for a fact there's a lot of theory discussions here. I prepared a lot, you know, did a, a few practice shots. It's really high level theory that they do. I think it's, it's gonna be fun and that is a projective measurement because it collapses your spin in one of the, these two states. But that's not exactly what we want to do. We you don't want to collapse our... I hope you know, people enjoy and you know, there, there, there are some uh, interesting questions. You know, symmetric in slightly more general version. In years to come, I'm definitely going to look back to, to this conference and have this as a sort of reference point then going forward. In that way, I think it'll, it'll be useful. Of the feedback we can actually derive uh, this, uh, this very nice master equation, which was, you know, the, one of the main results that we derived during the uh, FQXI project. Hopefully I'll be able to, you know, stir uh, some, some discussions uh, in the community. I end here uh, with my next steps and thank you. Thank you very much. Let's uh, thank you, Liam. My experience always was is that uh, when you share ideas, you give something away, but you gain much more. It's not what we can measure anymore. Yeah? It's what we can analyze. If you look at quantum physics in my huh? it's extremely new. Uh, most of these people really getting their hands dirty in quantum physics and having access to being able to really think about these things. But uh, yeah, I think if you're creative enough and passionate enough and really uh, are okay with kicking down doors, uh, you definitely make it, right? And for me now, it's definitely, I feel a, a responsibility and a motivation to help give other Maltese people access to opportunities like this. We really need to do our best to make sure that as many people from as many geographical and, and socioeconomic backgrounds have access to these topics, these, because uh, they are really some of the most beautiful ideas that we have as humans, so we need to share them. For me, it's become almost a daily life to, to be interacting with people who are, who are doing things that are completely new. Uh, but it's a, really, it's a really good point to be reflecting about and, and thinking that, yeah, this is actually something completely new and, and something that uh, is really pushing the, the boundaries of science. I haven't really reflected on that uh, before. It's a great perspective.